Okay, testing, one, two, three, making sure audio is coming in all right. All right, here we go. Hello everybody, Legendary Renegade here for a new live stream series. Yeah, I kept it kind of a secret uh, on which game I'd be doing after Pokemon Legends Arceus, but as you can tell by the game at the front of my list here, it's Skyward Sword HD. This is one of the, I think, the only 3D Zelda game I have not played yet. Okay, uh, with the Joy-Con attached to strap on the following. Yep, uh, I got the deal. I can use the Pro Controller, thankfully, with this. Hmm. We're getting our first bits of story already. Tells of a war of unmatched scale and ferocity, the likes of which will never be seen again. One dark, fateful day, the earth cracked wide, and malevolent forces rushed from the fissure. They mounted a brutal assault upon the surface of the driving the land. They burnt forests to ash, chose the land's sweet springs, and murdered without hesitation. They did all this in their lust to take the ultimate power, protected by her grace, the goddess. she guarded was without evil. Handed down by gods of old, this power gave its holder the means to make any desire a reality. Such was the might of the ultimate power that the one who the old ones placed in the camp of the goddess. And to prevent this great power from falling into the hands of the evil swarming the lands, the goddess gathered the surviving humans on an outcry. She sent it skyward, beyond the reach of the demonic hordes, beyond even the clouds. With the human city, the goddess joined forces with the land dwellers and fought the evil forces in single music here. This is a tale that you humans have told for many ages, generation to generation. But there are other legends long hidden away from memory that are intertwined with this tale. Now a new legend bound to this great story stands ready to be revealed. A legend that will be forged by your own we are, Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. I didn't get the original game on the Wii. I guess this was at the time when I was not really, um, this was before I really got into the Zelda series. Yeah, I'm gonna name, not Link, that's boring. Go with my name here. I have heard a lot about this game. It's very divisive, but I figured with this HD remake, it probably fixed a lot of the issues that were in the original Wii version. And yeah, it's the only 3D Zelda game I have not played yet. Oh shit. Yeah, that looks menacing. Look at those teeth, man. Nintendo presents. Oh, oh, they're going the even after the title screen and all that. 
The Legend of Zelda. Skyward Sword. Hmm. Pretty basic text there. I'm not saying, well, maybe not basic, just very. No real build up. At least not until you get to this point. The first Zelda game, I believe, that used a full orchestrated soundtrack. Which I think they were going to try to do with Twilight Princess, but they just went with the synthets, um, synthesized pieces, which I still think sound pretty good because the first Zelda games managed to use an actual orchestra. I figured, you know, I was gonna play this game, and then when they announced the HD version for Switch, it's like, okay, now I can definitely play this game, it'll be easier to access. Definitely is very nice. The game does look really good, though, I gotta say. Also, uh, it probably won't be, probably won't be needed till later, but I do have the Zelda and Loftwing amiibo for ease of access when I do need to travel between the surface and the uh, sky. Anything that can potentially make traveling easier. <laughs> There's like a lot of the uh, Zelda games. The time has come for you to awaken. <laughs> You are fated to have a hand in a great destiny, and it will soon find you. The time has come for you to awaken. Michael. Well, that's one way of waking him up. It's probably the most expressive Link I've seen so far in the Zelda series. I mean, the fact if it, if this, if you suddenly saw that just through your window, you would probably you know get fall out of bed if that was just suddenly in your. I know how much you like to sleep, so I'm guessing this letter will be your alarm clock this morning. <laughs> Did I guess right? Wow. Today's the wing ceremony. You promised to meet me before it starts. Remember, you'd better not keep me waiting. Zelda. <sighs> All right, I am in full control of Link here. Let me see if anything's in here. A blue ruby. I'm, I'm, I'm so used to Breath of the Wild, I forgot Link can't jump. That's the last Zelda game I played was Breath of the Wild. Hold L and Oh. Okay. Ah! Morning. So today's the wing ceremony. Are you ready? All I'm saying is everyone else is practicing in the plaza, but you seem pretty relaxed about the whole thing. Of course, that crimson loftwing of yours is something special. I'd feel pretty confident riding him too. My bird won the last ceremony, but even I don't think he could beat that red terror of yours. Of course, a bird's true speed in a race always comes down to the skill of the rider. I'm something of a bird researcher around here, so you know, if you ever find yourself in need of some bird expertise, come see old Pippet. All right. Then head to the east. Hey! The quickest way out is the door on the ground floor. The exit on the top floor is still a lock, so you obviously can't go out there. I couldn't have a word with her. Oh. Probably the only the, one of the few Zelda games I see that actually you start with six hearts compared to three. That's the restroom. I 
I know there was a lot of tutorials you had to go through, now it's entirely optional. You don't have to go through them if you just need a better understanding of how the game works. Skyloft. Now, I think for this playthrough, it might be... I probably will try to go for everything, if possible. Bird statue. So this is how I save my game here. throw yet. I can't pick up bugs either yet. No, that's one thing you can do in this game. Let's continue to get used to this. Hey! Horwell. No. Target me and we can have a quick chat. so busy working with Zelda for the ceremony. I thought that maybe I should feed her, but the ceremony is about to start, and I just put on a fresh set of clothes and go to the sea. Will you help me out and go retrieve Mia for me? Whew. So you'll do. I know you're in a hurry, so I really appreciate you taking the time to help. You should be able to climb up somewhere over there. If you hang off the ledge there, you can climb onto the roof from the other side. Well, before I go and do that, actually... Wink of sleep last night. Figured you might have been tossing and turn all night thinking about the ceremony, fixing this gate here. And we can't have that on the day of the ceremony. Hey, you haven't brought to send your prayers to God this morning, have you? Just face the bird statue over there and say a short prayer to save your progress. Well, as you know, these bird statues are all over Skyloft. It's about time you get in the habit of stopping at a statue every time you run by one. <laughs> a prayer in time saves night, if you know what I'm saying. Stamina fruit replenishes your stamina gauge. Oh yeah, this is the first game to introduce the stamina meter. Nope, wait, 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 wait. Nope, 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 nope. Not that way. And, uh, I'll just explore around, see what I can find. So I'm stuck back here at the academy, plus I've got to move these barrels over the kitchen. I was hoping to at least be able to cheer you on, but I guess that's not the way it goes. Go out there and wow them, buddy. Oh, it costs stamina to actually lift something heavy. And you slow down, too. Interesting. I guess you 
needs help lifting these barrels. Yeah. Gotta get build some upper body strength, Fledge. Turn the camera. Something at the top of the stairs. You gotta take this slowly. Now there's some stuff I can do to get some extra money. Flesh to carry that body is probably for the best. That skinny boy probably never gotten, have gotten flat. Well, thanks for the help. I'm presuming I can't run with a barrel over my head either. What? Somewhere behind. Talk to you. I was trying to pick up this barrel. I can throw it. Ceremony. No, that's the restroom. No, there are probably some other people playing this game as well. Just trying to think what would be the next game I would do after Legends Arceus. I figured, you know what, it's, I haven't done a Zelda game yet. And I know it's like, I could have probably picked another one. But I figured, you know what, I haven't played Skyward Sword yet. Might as well give it a try. take into account, um... Oh, what is this? A, what, what is this, a cat, or...? You brought her back safe and sound. Sorry for bothering you. I know you're busy. I suppose I should meet Mia now. Please tell the headmaster that we found his pet. He should be up by the statue of the goddess. Shelters there with him, so you should hurry along. Oh yes, I should give you a word. It's not much, but please take this. Uh, don't tell the others. Oh, we've got some more rupees. They decided to make this game the one where you start with six hearts compared to other ones. Maybe there wasn't enough places where they could put heart containers or uh, heart pieces. <gasps> Statue of the Goddess.
she playing, she's playing the harp, it sounds like. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about his lips, though. Pretty sure you'd sleep in and forget to meet me this morning. <laughs> but look at this instrument and look at this outfit. They're mine to use today in the ceremony since I'll be playing the role of the goddess. Aren't they beautiful, especially this instrument? They tell me it's just like the one the goddess was said to have in the legends. It sounds gorgeous too. I asked father about it and he says it's called a harp. <laughs> and look at these clothes. I made this wrap myself and we got to use it in today's ceremony. Between the harp and this outfit, I'm going to make a great goddess today. I got you up early this morning because I wanted you to be, wanted you to be the first to see me like this, Michael. Oh, thank you. Great. Do the choices actually mean anything, or is it just to get a different reaction from characters? Encouraging to see you up so early, given your capacity for sleep. Am I really that much of a sleeper in this story? Had you too excited to close your eyes for once. Mm. If you win today's ceremonial race, you'll also get to participate in the post-race ritual with Zelda, so give it your best out there. <sighs> I don't know if he can do it. Well, that face Link is making been practicing at much at all for the ceremony. And even when he's out riding his loft wing, he's just lazily gliding around, probably daydreaming. Jeez! You said you want me to be in this ceremony, and now you're just like, yeah, I don't think you can do it now. I don't know what he's thinking. He's gonna have to be in perfect control of his bird to win today. No need to worry yourself, Zelda. Though you may have a point, today's wing ceremony tests the skill of the rider as well as his bond to his bird. Victory will not come easily. Mm. And as you pointed out, I haven't seen him practicing as hard as some of the other students. But you've known him since you were both very little. You should know better than to fret about him. You see, Michael and his law firm share a special connection. I've never seen anything quite like it. As you know, each of us in Skyloft is but one half of a pair. We are only made whole by our Loftlings, the guardian birds that the goddess bestows upon each of us as a symbol of her divine protection. When we are young, every one of, when every one of us meets our Loftling under the great statue of the goddess. It's quite a big moment, as I'm sure you recall. Ah, uh, but that first meeting between Michael and his Loftling was extraordinary. The bird that came to him was a crimson loftwing. It is a breed so rare we were sure some time, for some time that it had vanished from the line. Yes, and the boy and his bird seemed to share a profound connection from the moment they met. Oh, I'll leave a big link there. Do you recall when Michael and that loftwing of his first met? Yes, sight. Little boy just hopped up on that bird and gracefully flew away without even a moment of instruction. They were meant for each other. And judging. I, how jealous you were that day. I'd say the friendship he shared with his bird didn't go unnoticed by you, my dear. We definitely feel something. Uh, but who can blame you? I'm sure you weren't the only one envious of the powerful bond Michael sh Bond shared by Michael and his bird. Anyone who is a part of something special is bound to catch some nasty looks sooner or later. <laughs> this contest is nothing to laugh at, Father. This ceremony is part of the final test for the training to become Knights of Skyloft. If Michael doesn't fly fast enough during the race, what if Michael messes up his big chance? What if he's not allowed to become a knight? Ooh, calm down, my dear. It will be fine. 
Honestly, it's almost as though you became a completely different person when you worry about Michael. Hey! You'd better fly your heart out today, at the very least. You need to squeeze in a little practice time before the race. Huh? Come on, you'll thank me later. Oh, wow. Here we go, go on, jump off the edge and call your loft wing. It's almost time for the night morning, so try to practice seriously for once. Wait, are you seriously gonna... Oh yeah, you can't sense your bird out there. Oh, I get it, you're trying to weasel out of having to practice. Nice try, but you're not fooling me. Off you go. You seriously threw me off a ledge. Just press the... and call your loft wing. Bird sure is taking a long time to get here. <laughs> Something's wrong. Yeah, and did you think maybe my bird is preoccupied at the moment? Hang in there, Michael. I've got you. Thank you for the save. I mean, you did push me off here, but. Are you two all right? I'm sorry, friend. I didn't mean to push you so hard. You, you didn't sprain your wing, did you? This is very odd, Michael. What could have possibly happened to your lost wing? For a bird to ignore the call of his master, it's unheard of. And you still can't sense your bird nearby, eh, Michael? This is quite a problem, especially considering the wing ceremony is about to start. When you said you couldn't sense your loft wing well, I should have believed you. I'm sorry. Yeah, you should be sorry. Excuse me. I need to attend my own loft wing, so I'll catch up with you later. You better go on ahead and see if you can find where your bird has gone. get to be so late. If I recall correctly, this year, Instructor Hogwell is presenting over the ceremony. Michael, you should go explain the situation to him and see if he's willing to delay the race a little so that you can find your bird. <laughs> but Father, you're the headmaster of the academy. If uh, Michael asks Instructor Hogwell, he'll probably just come to talk to you about it. Ah, oh, quite true. As usual, you make an excellent point, my dear. Very well. I'll explain the situation to him myself, Michael. Run along and tell Instructor Horwell to come see me in my quarters. for a lady anymore. How long am I supposed to stand here waiting for a little chivalry? Hmm? What's you, Michael? Say, you look all flustered since something happened. What? You can't find your loft wing. Um, I don't know what to tell you. I've been here at school the whole time. Okay, 
you help me with something, all you have to do is dash and roll into the tree. Do a roll right into it. While pressing. While dashing. A sky stack beetle. We got some rupees at least. Find my crimson moth wing. to me. song, Gruce's bird was chasing off after your feathered fella. Oh, uh, Gruce and his little cronies were saying they were headed down to the wing ceremony in the plaza. Oh, are you still trying to get down to the south end? The next mark on your map, that's the plaza. It's where they're holding the wing ceremony today, so you'll definitely want to find it before too long. Alright. So, my guess is they might be in the plaza. Normally, the fastest way is just down this path, but this gate here still needs some work before it open. Can you go around through the academy? Remember to check the map. Hit the minus button if you get lost. Well, at least I have a map now. I guess it's like, how I was like, how, where am I, how am I supposed to tell where I'm going? saved frequently. the scratching and pecking. <laughs> of course it was. You thought a big crimson waffling like that was gonna go down without a fight? But we got him. I don't care how tough that birds are supposed to be. He's not getting out of that pen anytime soon, boys. <clears throat> oh, snap. You asshole, Bruce. So, uh, yeah, just how long you been standing there? What's your problem, anyway? Oh, wait, I got it. You're here to talk about today's race. I can see it in those dopey eyes of yours. I'm pretty sure your eyes are more dopey than mine. Oh, Groose, can you please find it in your heart to let me win today, please? No, that's not what I'm saying, buddy. You can get some alone time with Zelda up on the statue of the goddess at the end of the ceremony. 
Well, sorry, pal. Bruce doesn't do charity for wimps. My advice, work hard and wish with all your heart. You might even come in second. Say, come to think of it, how come I don't see your bird? Where is that scruffy pile of red feathers? I can't imagine what could have happened to him. Do you think his <laughs> tiny brain got confused by all the clouds? We got lost. Give him back, you jerk. I've got no idea what you're talking about. You know, we're all getting tired of how you never let anyone forget you and Zelda go way back. You've been friends since you were kids, but big deal. It doesn't change the fact that you float through life with your head in the clouds. Would you wake up would you wake up straighten up and grow a backbone already? Dopes like you are dragging our honored academy through the mud. <laughs> and just who might you be talking about, Groose? Oh, uh, Zelda, hey, no, it's, uh... Don't ever tr even try it, Groose. You're picking on Michael again, aren't you? He's a student at the Academy, like all of us. Why do you insist on bullying him around so much? I, I suppose... You suppose, suppose what? I suppose you... Uh, oh jeez, his mind's somewhere else. Forget, I wasn't supposing anything, okay. Okay, we're out of here, boys. Later, Michael. Hope you find your bird, or else you're gonna have to sit out today's race. That could be a major setback toward knighthood, so find that bird or get real used to the taste of failure. It's your special flavor. Oh, screw off, you big jerk. to say it, but I'm beginning to suspect that those blockheads had something to do with your Lofwin's disappearance. Those guys aren't going to help us find your bird, so we better start searching. I'll fly around Skyloft and see if I can find any spot, any trace of your bird. Father said he talked to the instructor, Instructor Horrell, about delaying the start of the wing ceremony, so don't worry, we'll find your bird in time. nonchalantly jump off of a cliff. Her loft wing is like a very... It's a blue colored and mine's red, so... Oh, it shows me the safe points here. Place markers. It seems mildly inconvenient. Some information about your loft wing. Come over here. Hey, Michael, I was just looking for you. I heard your loft wing has gone missing, so I thought I'd join in the search. And get this when I asked Fledge what he knew, he started acting weird. Aww. I'm so sorry, Michael. I really wanted to tell you, but if Bruce found out I told you. Sounds like Bruce forced him to keep quiet about it. Go on. Tell him the truth. <sighs> Just a little while ago, when I was cleaning the dining hall, Bruce and his buddies came in. They didn't notice I was there and started talking about their plan to hide your loft wing. I wanted to warn you, Michael, but just as I tried to sneak away, Bruce and his gang grabbed me. 
They said that if I told you, they'd make sure I would never be able to ride a bird ever again. Sounds like Bruce and his buddies had a plan to capture your bird and hide him near a waterfall. Well, near a waterfall would mean. Quick, let's take a look at your map. That's it, right there. I think it means the waterfall mark there on the map. Yep. Forgive me, Michael. I can't help being such a coward. I'm really sorry. One more thing, Michael. If you're going out of the water, there are some dangerous things there. Creepy crawly things. You'll need to carry a sword. I think I saw the Knight Commander go into the sparring hall a while ago. You should go ask him if you can borrow one. So you still want to get in some sword practice, even though today's the link ceremony. I'm impressed. The sword in the, is in the back room. Go on in there and get it. I'll be here for a while, so if there's anything you don't understand about handling a sword, go ahead and ask. Get my first item, finally. Practice with these. It looks like it has a fairly sharp blade. Press plus at any time to lock. Look at the items you're carrying. So I got my wallet. And all the different items I can get. There's quite a bit. That's a log used for practicing your thrust. Move your sword sharply forward to thrust if you need to. Ooh. Ooh. Trying to figure out how to actually... sword in the direction you want, press flick it, and then flick quickly left for a spin attack. <laughs> Not sure if it would be easier to use the motion controls here, or if it's struggling here. Okay, that's the thrust. I'm trying to get used to this sword combat here. I'm not sure if it would be easier with the motion controls. by this damn log. That's right. <laughs> we really are a strong swordsman. Easy to teach you. Make this instructor proud. The spin attack. Oh, maybe that's why I couldn't do it. Great, now I'm going to surround you with logs. Use a spin attack to cut them all without moving from that spot. Oh, that's a kind of un unorthodox fatal blows to close out your session. When your enemy is down, target it with ZL and throw yourself at it to land a fatal blow. Do a side slash on that log when it's down. Try finishing it off with this technique. Pop down. 
up, down, up. Clearly, I'm not doing it right. There we go. Okay. Shield are a well placed spin attack to knock in enemies, but don't. monsters don't stay down for long, so you'll have to land that fatal blow quickly before they get up. Oh god, this has to be the most painful sword now. Practice that so anybody's had to see. Well, I'm out of I'm running out of stamina. Okay, you know what? I've broken all the other. You can't take swords outside of the Spartan Hall. What do you think you're doing? Sneaking out with that. What? Your loft wing is missing, you want to go look for it. Well, I guess I can make an exception just this once, but remember that sky loft is a peaceful place only knights carry swords. So I don't want to see you swinging around like a crazy out there. I don't want to get in a ton of trouble over this. So here's the deal. Make sure you get plenty of practice on these locks first, and once you get outside with that sword, only use it when you absolutely have to. Got it? So, so weird for me to deal with this with the pro controller. I already know how to do the spin attack. You don't need to keep teaching me all about this. Just wanted to get in a few more practice swings. this cave here. You can see it all the way, oh, you can sense it all the way there. own separate button. Well, I guess I could go in. I didn't really need to cut those logs down. Dr. 
green ruby. It's worth one ruby. Make sure you hold on to a lot of them. Oh my god, a heart. I think I remember in the original game, you would get that prompt every time you picked up an item. Now it only just does it when you get it for the first time, so that definitely saves a lot of time. I hear a key somewhere. Oh. What is that, a choo-choo? through this cave without having to deal with any of this. <laughs> Jelly Blob. It might look like a boring wa wad of gunk, but it's used to make all sorts of things. Oh, I guess this is my collection of monster cards. <laughs> Collect that ruby before it goes away. Grab something here. Oh, another red ruby, that's nice. Wow, the rupees really bounce in this game. They just don't. As soon as they hit the floor, they just don't stay in place. doing that, where I just, like, use the right analog stick to shift the camera, but that's, no, that's for the sword. Grab that. Ah. Swinging like a crazy person here, essentially. Ah. Nice. Little alcoves here. I kind of keep reminding myself that I turn the camera with the... I hold down the L button and then you use the right analog stick. Bird statues here. Might as well use it. Find your way over here. Wow, it's just like right underneath Skyloft. Hoping I'd find you here. I heard you'd gone searching for your bird around the waterfall, so I thought I'd fly around and help you look. How's your search going? Any sign of your loft wing? Hmm. Well, let's not lose hope yet. There's a place up ahead that Bruce and his gang are always hanging around. Maybe we'll find something there. Oh, looks like they're gonna start. The wing ceremony. Who's calling for me? I got distracted for a moment. Let's go. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> no doubt about it. That's your law friend, Michael. The rope. Oh, 
on, don't worry about it, I'll get you out. There we go. Finally, it's back. I got my left wing back. You should hurry, Michael. Now that your left wing is free, you should fly to the ceremony. But before you go, I have to ask you something. I... I heard this voice a few moments ago. Did you hear it too? It's been happening a lot lately. It's the strangest feeling, almost like it's someone calling out to me. Have you ever wondered what's beneath the clouds? Some say that it's an empty, barren place, or even that there's nothing at all down below, but I just have this feeling that they're wrong. Some of Father's old texts talk about us. It's called the surface. The old tales describe a whole world under there. They are far more vast than Skyloft. The thing is, no one's ever been down there to see it, and our lawflings won't fly through the cloud barrier. But I can't help imagining the wild things that might be waiting below. Someday I want to see for myself. <laughs> I'm sorry, Michael, we don't have time to talk. Let's get going. Look, your bird's waiting for you. Just leap off the edge and press down arrow. Don't worry about falling. Your bird will catch you for sure this time. How am I supposed to fly this thing? Oh, so my flight controls are inverted, so if I go up... The basics, just to make sure he's not hurt. You can fly your bird in any direction, when it's headed upward, it'll slowly lose speed. Speed up, direct your bird upwards again out to sleep, then drive into a fast dive. So again, gain some altitude, then dive to speed up. Those are the basics of getting your bird up to top speed. So how's he handling? Do you think he's flying alright? which is an attack that gives you all a burst of speed well, as well as slow down. You need to try all these moves to see how they feel. gist of how this works now. That's a huge relief. I don't know about you, Michael. Your law looks look like he's flying great. My father and my others are probably worried about your bird, so let's give them the good news. Something I gotta fly there? Oh no, it does it automatically. Really is amazing, especially considering everything the poor guy's been through this morning. I'm going to fly back and tell Father what happened. Oh boy, here's this guy. Again. If it isn't, Michael. Word around the plaza is you found that dumb bird of yours. That's just great because you and your dumb bird can't tell the time. All the pair ass warm ups. 
pre-race warm-ups me and the guys did were for now, but now I'm all stiff. The have been waiting forever for the race to start, and then they delay it for you. I don't get it. The big flake gets special. Shit! You're almost a man, and yet you still can't seem to go anywhere without Zelda. I bet you can't even decide what to have for lunch, I know, huh? And don't think we haven't noticed that smug looks. Oh, Zelda and I are best friends. We go everywhere together. Ugh. You think you're pretty suave, don't you? Well, don't you? Uh, this is going on forever about how he's going to be the one to be with Zelda. He's really got his pompadour and ruffle about her. <laughs> her. I hate to break it to you, but today's the day I bust up this adorable little fantasy land you're living in. Zelda's playing the role of the goddess at today's ceremony, and I'm going to be the one to claim that sick cloth. When I heard she made it herself, man, no way I was going to let some strong and clown snatch that prize from me. Oh yes, that sailcloth Zelda sailcloth will be mine. Oh man, I bet she was thinking about me when she was snitching it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she was, yeah. Keep telling yourself that. Then, hey, on the statue, just the two of us, it'll be our special moment alone. Nobody's stopping me and Zelda from having our moment. Oh, it's so real, I can see it, I can see it. <laughs> Bruce, Psh, Bruce, behind you, right behind you. What, can't you two see I'm in the middle of... Uh. Uh -huh. Care to explain just what you meant by our special moment alone? <laughs> Nothing big, really. Just, just, Michael. Yeah, I was just telling my buddy here how glad I was he found the red bird of his. Boy, am I really looking forward to a fair race. Anyhow, later, Zelda, look for me during the race. I'll be the one pulling off all the dangerous moves. Yeah, sure you will. Uh -huh. Bruce, wait up. A fair race, yeah, the chances of that happening are just about less than zero. Either way, don't let those fools get you down, Michael. Just go out there and fly the best you can. I know you've got these guys beat, and deep down, I thank you. Yeah, that's the spirit. Trust me, you can win this. The wing ceremony will now begin. Participating students, please assemble. Looks like the race is time. It's race time. Good luck. Attention, please. At last, we are ready to begin the wing ceremony. I was beginning to worry that we'd have to proceed without Michael, but luckily, that is no longer a concern. I'm glad you can all make it. Before we start, I'll explain the rules for today's competition. I have attached a small statuette to this bird, who will I, who will, who I will then release to the skies. On my signal, dash from the starting line and dive off the ledge. Once you are in the air, mount your loft wing. Remember to call your bird promptly. Once you dive off the edge, whoever catches the bird and claims the statuette will be this year's champion. Those are the rules. Simple enough, I should think. But do you need to hear it? them again? Nope. Mm. Excellent. As you well know, today's champion will graduate to the next class, bringing him one step closer to knighthood. He will also receive a gift from the young woman chosen to play the role of the goddess in this year's ritual. Today is a special day for many reasons, but it also is the 25th anniversary of our fine institution. To celebrate this occasion, today's champion shall also receive this gift high atop the statue of the goddess. I hear the young woman perform the role of the goddess has, this year has crafted the gift herself. And as you all know, the role of the goddess this year will be performed by... <laughs> the lovely Zelda! <laughs> Let's see your finest flying out there. Show me just how hard you've been practicing. Also, I want to see a good, clean flying ray. Anyone caught interfering with other riders will answer to me. <laughs> That goes double for you, Bruce. Hey! All right, gentlemen, line up at my command. The competition will begin. All right, so I just gotta catch that bird. Hey. Go! so far behind the others. Hey! 
I got it. Wait, did I get it? Hey, don't you know this is my day to get all the glory? Yeah, you heard him. Let's see how you fly with an egg on your face. Oh, you assholes. I keep forgetting. Nope, nope. Going way too high for this. Come on! God, I really hope I don't lose this. Wait, I, I really hope it's not possible to lose. Come on! The bird statue improves your victory today. Wait till Zelda sees this. Yes! Jumped off. Yeah, was she expecting me to catch her? I'm surprised I didn't break my loft wing's back or anything, or one of its wings. Great flying, congratulations. Now we better get on with the ceremony. Well, oh, there's her loft wing in the background, how nice. Hand me that bird statuette you grabbed in the race. I must offer it to the goddess. Just gonna play the harp now. Get how the loft wings are just flying there together. Even they like have like a close relationship. I'm surprised they only made one amiibo for this game, or at least not get the other amiibo functionality. Guiding light and protector of our people, grant us your blessing and mercy as I act in your steed during this ceremony. Valiant youth who grasped victory at the celebration of the bird folk, in accordance with the old ways, I now bestow the blessings of the goddess upon you. <laughs> the blessing of the goddess drift down from the heavens aloft a sail, which I now pass on to you. Oh, she was wearing it the entire time. That's actually pretty nice little attention to start with the sail cloth. Now you can jump from any height without fear of a painful landing. It smells nice, too. <laughs> Probably because Zelda's been wearing it. Michael, quit goofing. This is supposed to be a sacred ritual, remember? You know, they say that the goddess gave the sail cloth to her chosen hero long ago. Of course, the one you're holding isn't the same one. I've been working hard to finish making this sail cloth in time to give it today's ch to today's champion. I'm really glad I got to give it to you, Michael. Make sure you take good care of it, okay? You have my word. Thanks for making it up here to do this with me today, like you promised, Michael. <laughs> now, we're re now we really should finish up this ritual. You do know what happens at the end, right? Sort of. I'm glad you're so well informed on the subject. <laughs> you have to jump off the statue. Oh, what a cock tease. See that big round design on the courtyard below? To finish the ceremony, you need to drop right down into the center of it. Leap off the edge right here before you hit the ground. Press the yard to open up your sail club. Just how brave are you? If you're really fierce, you wait until the last second to use your sail cloth. So ready to jump? <laughs> Again, what's with her and pushing me off ledges all of a sudden? <sighs> oh. 
really have a fascination with just pushing me off a ledge now, don't you? <laughs> that was perfect. You're amazing, Michael. Seeing as how you were today, and with the weather being so nice, you think maybe you'd like to, you know, go fly around the clouds together? Amazing watching you win the race and performing the ritual together. It'll, I'll always remember this. It really was wonderful. <laughs> now just confess your feelings already. You know, Michael. There's something I've been meaning to talk to you about. Oh, well, I guess that's not gonna happen for a while now, is it? What is that? What's going on? Oh no, Zelda! Boo, you tried to fly directly into a tornado. What do you think was gonna happen? When carried you back, you were limp and unconscious. I feared the worst. Fortunately, you don't appear to have any serious injuries. For that much, we can be grateful. But Michael, where's Zelda? She was with you, was she not? What's, what has happened to my daughter? Look at how they try to have Link, like, actually, like, you know, just talk about what's happening, rather than just look stoic and just be like, oh, so that's what happened. A black tornado, you say? Hmm. No, there's no ordinary storm. <laughs> you must not push yourself. You're still recovering. Tell me, when you saw Zelda today, did anything about her seem off? about a great mission. How interesting. Ooh. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I was lost in thought there for a moment. It's all very strange, but I doubt there's much of a connection between these things. I'm concerned for Zelda, but so long as she's with her Loftling, I'm sure she'll be fine. Either way, daybreak has yet to arrive. It would be very difficult to spot one girl and her bird in the dark of night. It would also be very dangerous. Zelda's going to be fine. She's out there alive. I know it. You're very sure about that. You think? With your daughter missing, I thought you'd be more distraught.
he's just gonna find rupees in here. The dead of night. Oh, I love this theme, Follow Fi. It's just so peaceful and like mysterious. Oh, snap! faster on this. Otherwise, you're not making it very far. I like how they don't interrupt the music, though, like with the battle theme. It actually really adds to the mysterious feeling of this. Why does she have it? Uh, I guess it's a means of testing you, have you go up through this more intricate pathway, rather than just going up the stairs to it. Ooh, the statue has opened up. Social customs, I should provide you with my personal designation. Phi is the name I was given. I was created for a single purpose long before the recorded memory of your people. I must aid you in fulfilling the great destiny that is yours burden to carry. 
Come, Michael, you must take up this sword as the one chosen by my creator. It is your destiny. Strange dreams troubling your sleep. My sudden appearance. Uncertainty, uncertainty surrounding the fate of the one you hold dear. Under the circumstances, it is only logical that you would exhibit some apprehension. Oh, very calculating. To minimize your uncertainty, allow me to share some information. My projections indicate that this information has a high probability of altering your current emotional state. Well, you're like a computer. The one you seek, Honorable Zelda, is still alive. <laughs> this spirit maiden, the one you call Zelda, is another chosen one, fated to be part of the same great mission. Therefore, should you wish, wish to meet with your friend, I highly recommend you take up this sword before you set out to search for her. Does that information invigorate you? Are you ready to accept this sword? <laughs> it seems that further persuasive measures will not be required. In the name of my creator, draw the sword and raise it skyward. I'm just gonna walk slowly towards it. Oh, they really have you go all the way with, you know, using the right stick to really use the motion controls. I guess they were really big in the original game, so trying to modify it to a controller, they had to, you know, make some workarounds. You got the goddess sword. The mysterious sword is bathed in divine light. Recognition complete, Master. Michael, my master. <laughs> Michael. Ooh. I've had my suspicions, but until now I wasn't sure. Yet here we are in the chamber of the sword, the very place where it was foretold the youth of legend would one day appear. It is said that this place was left to our people by the goddess herself. The very knowledge of this room's existence is a secret passed down to a select few each generation, along with a handful of words. When the light of the goddess's sword shines bright, the great apocalypse will wake from its long slumber. Do not fear, for it is then that a youth guided by my hand shall reveal himself in a place most sacred. Started days ago, the sword that I kept secret all these years began to give off a faint, otherworldly light. At first, I was sure I was seeing things here alone with the sword. There was simply no other explanation. I never dreamed the prophecy of legend would come to pass in my lifetime. The words I have sworn to keep secret are coming true before my very eyes. The youth will be guided by one born of the blade, one who is also youthful in likeness, yet wise with knowledge immeasurable. Ah uh, yes, the oral tradition, one of the least reliable methods of information, retention, and transmission. It appears that critical sections of the passage have been lost over the generations. Ouch, it's like you don't know shit, man. The youth who draws forth the guiding sword shall be known as the goddess's chosen hero, and it is he who possesses an unbreakable spirit. He shall be burdened with the task of abolishing the shadow of apocalypse from the land. Such is his destiny. With the spirit of the blade at his side, he shall soar over the clouds and plummet below. United with the spirit maiden shall bring forth a piercing light that resurrects the land. <laughs> Some of father's old texts talk about a place called the surface. The old tales describe a whole world far below, more vast than Skyloft. Master, you must embark on a great journey beneath the clouds to the vast realm of the surface. It is only through this journey that you can fulfill the mission set before you by my creator, the goddess.
this. This is also the only method available for you to reunite with the spirit made in Honorable Zelda. This is no easy task, Michael. The world below is a forsaken place, and to reach it, you must pierce the cloud barrier below. In living memory, no one has ever done this. This tablet will illuminate a path through the clouds to the land below. Take it and place it within the altar behind me. You've got the emerald tablet. This weathered surface of the heavy stone tablet feels very old. Master, the first thing you must do is hit the crest sitting in this room with the skyward strike. These blasts are forms of pure energy that charges within your blade when you lift it skyward. Once you have charged your blade, face the crest and swing your sword to send out a powerful skyward strike. tablets that need to be collected. Master Michael, it is done. Until now, a cloud barrier created by the goddess has separated the world you know from the one below. The tablet you placed in the altar has opened a small rift in the barrier. You can use it to travel through the clouds to the realm below. I have recognized you as my master, and it is so it is my duty to follow you wherever you may go. I reside within your sword and will accompany you in your travels. Press the down arrow to summon me whenever you require my assistance. of the great apocalypse mentioned in the old text is a complete mystery to me. But whatever it turns out to be, it seems that both you and Zelda have big roles to play in the destiny of this land. Just think, if what this Fi says is true, Zelda is alive. Alive and no doubt coming to terms with whatever it is the goddess has in store for her. Should you heed the call of destiny, I don't know what dangers you may have to face, Michael, especially down there. But if you've decided to brave the unknown, please find my daughter and bring her back to me. You've seen here today defies explanation, but it is the only it is only the start of your journey. Please see it through and prove the legend true. Ooh. You do your people proud, Michael. Dawn is drawing near. It has been a long night for the both of us, hasn't it? This is a remix of the Gate of Time, I think. You have a great journey before you, Michael, and those clothes, they don't look up to the task. The uniform you were to receive for winning the race should be ready by now. A sturdy uniform like that will prove much more suitable for a long journey. You better change before you go. what our knights will be wearing this year, to be honest, I've had my doubts about the color. But oddly enough, seeing you wear this uniform, I can't imagine a more fitting color for you. It's as if though you were born to wear it. Oh yeah, I definitely was born to wear this. Take care on your journey, and be sure to stop by some of the shops at the bazaar here in town to equip yourself properly for the travels ahead. I will return to my quarters and see if I can glean more useful information from the ancient texts. 
You are always welcome to stop by if you have questions. You and Zelda shall be in our prayers. May the goddess watch over and guide you both. new outfit now. Hey. Michael. The green uniform looks so adventurous. You sure look, at, look like a knight now. The headmaster said you're heading out to look for Zelda. You're really something else. I can never imagine myself doing what you were about to do. But I put a lot of work into making this. You should take it with you. We've got the adventure pouch. You can store all kinds of useful items in this handy piece of gear. So I get four pouches. It's an adventure pouch. It's for adventures. It's neat because you can fit four things in it that you'll need on your big journey. You can buy all kinds of stuff at the bazaar that you can put in this pouch. You should go look. <laughs> buy some potions and a shield. They fit in the pouch and they might come in handy on an adventure. Michael, I just know you'll find Zelda. Okay. shield. Can't be going anywhere. What do you have to say, asshole? Hey. I just saw the news out of all of us. How come you only got promoted to senior class? Talk about stupid call. On top of all that, Bruce won't come out of his room and Zelda's missing. It's all your fault. Way to go there, buddy. Some senior class guy you are. Oh, please. It was all your fault to begin with, you jackasses. Zelda's fallen down through the clouds, and you're going to look for her, is that right? The headmaster told me there's land beneath the clouds. Do you know anything about that? So that's the famous sword. Ah, uh, but it won't do you much good if you don't have a shield to protect yourself with. Here, take this with you. You've got a wooden shield. A wooden shield is light and removable, but it's the weakest of all the shields. So keep in mind that it's particularly vulnerable to fire. If it breaks, you can buy a new one at the bazaar to equip a shield. Hold R, select the shield, and you want to use it. Let go of R. If you're not sure how to use the shield, Knight Commander Aegis at the Spawn Hall will tap and teach you. Well, I got my shield. regarding the stone tablet and the resulting column of light it created. The column of light has appeared to the south of our location. Signs indicate that it has created an opening in the cloud barrier around the world. We must also caution you that descending to the surface armed with only a sword will result in a decreased probability of survival. If you have not already done so, I advise you to purchase a shield and potions at the bazaar in preparation for your journey. That's what I'm trying to do, is find the bazaar. Oh, so it's... I gotta go up here then. Is this the only way I'm going to be able to get up here without having to go all the way around? Well, the gate's finally fixed. What is this, my eyes behold? Oh, young man, what calamitous visions appear before me. You may choose not to believe me, but my eyes foresee a hazardous stony road ahead for you, but I can foresee what will well, we'll follow you, for I am a fortune teller. Trust my piercing eyes. Yeah, those definitely are piercing eyes. Listen to my pure and answer voice. I will do you no harm. Gaze deeply into my eyes and come closer. 
gaze into my eyes, stare deeply into my these eyes, see many things. Oh yes, the lovely round eyes can even see into the future. Allow me to tell you a fashion boy. Do you doubt these eyes and look upon your shirt? Boy, and I see a single thread loose upon your sleeve stitching. Nothing can hide from these eyes. I seek ten rupees to tell a fortune. This time I'll charge but one rupee. It's only if you're only charging one rupee. You are the first customer I've had in a while. I mean the best at what I do. You can trust these glistening eyes. Very well, let me tell you what I see. Yes, your fortune. It's all coming into focus now. Aha! Uh -huh, I see many things. All is revealed. Young man, are you about to head into a densely wooded area somewhere blanketed in green? Yes, my eyes, they see all. Trees everywhere. Yes, many trees that have served you well to buy a wooden shield before you travel. You can see that you are a bit young and green yourself, so it couldn't hurt to take a heart potion with you. That's all I can see for now for the moment. My eyes, they grow weary. Come see me again if you, you should lose your way. Good luck, young man. Hello there. Oh, but before I get into my spiel, I should warn you that you need an empty bottle to buy anything in here. Understand, dear? If you want to know more about how things work around here, just ask. Ah, uh, hello. Welcome to my humble little side business over here. I infuse the potions my wife sells with new ingredients to increase their power. It's nothing really, just something I like to. Well, do you have any potions you like to infuse? No, I don't have any right now. Huh. My friend, you don't appear to have a slingshot. Oh, yep. Yeah. Slingshot? I don't have a bomb bag either. Nothing I can buy. Oh man, that guy looks so sad now. Hi. I'm poking to the item check. Wanna put some stuff from your pouch into storage? Uh, nothing at the moment. Oh, she looks bored out of her mind. Master Monday. Take from this treasure chest like objects as well of ancient times left by the goddess by her chosen hero. However, I lack any information on how it can be opened at this time. Well, that's unfortunate. Can't open this right now. Hey, welcome to the scrap shop. I can use stuff to find upgrade your gear and make it even stronger. Uh, I don't really have anything. I don't have anything to fix right now, so. Hmm. Only one thing to do when you're tired get some sleep. You can sleep anywhere, there's a bed, you know. So I love this different place after the sun goes down. No lie. Find a bed and take a nap to sleep until nightfall. There's all kinds of curious things to enjoy at night. Mm. You're coming at night now. Congratulations. There's still plenty. Don't forget to press if you need a pointer or two. Mm. Well, I know the controls. Horrible boy with the golden hair. Welcome to my potion shop. You can drink our potions when you're injured to fill up your hearts. Hey, you're one of those knights, aren't you? Or one in training, at least. Let me tell you, one look at you and I can tell you need potions by the cauldron full. So don't try to slink away without stocking up. Mm -hmm. Oh dear, if you... I forgot to ask if you have an empty bottle on you. Just so you know, I can't sell you a potion if you don't have an empty bottle before mm -hmm. then, too. For some reasons, I like you, though. So, I'll give you a spare empty bottle I've been keeping here in the stall. Oh, it's nothing. It's like my little gift. You won't hear me say this often, but you can put other things besides potions in the empty bottle, so it's a useful thing to carry around. Nice. Got my first mm -hmm. empty bottle. Adventure prize. 
if you ever get to the point where you can't fit any more stuff in your pouch because it's full, you can always drop items off the mm. item chain. So what would you like to buy? Well, let's see here. A bat of heart potion will replenish eight hearts. Yeah, I'll take some. You just call it a heart potion, not a red potion. <laughs> Powered up, go see my husband. He can mix something up for you. But given that I only have six hearts right now, it's probably. Probably wouldn't really mean much for me to upgrade the potion, at least right now. the next thing I need to do. Oh, I was just, just stretching about here. We got two shields. Got two shields here. I got... And I got, uh bottle of red potion. I'm just gonna call it red potion. That's just what I'm used to. shields just in case one breaks. I know the game auto saves, but I always just like to make sure I have my game saved beforehand. Hi. Graduated to the senior class. I can tell by that handsome knight's uniform you're wearing. It looks very dashing on you. One step closer to knighthood, eh? Uh, just uh, to search for Zelda, I recommend you dive into the column of light in the clouds and fall to the ground below. The column of light is the south of Skyloft. Session time, hour and 38 minutes, is complete by now. So she even gives you how long you've been playing and how much time you've actually put into the game. Well, I'm about as south as I can be right here, so. stuff I can actually find up here by search.
somebody out here. Standing out on this lonely island here. Seriously, I can't open this chest yet? Well, that feels... Utter... That feels very inconvenient. I guess I need to wait to a certain point in the story to be able to unlock those chests. Well, I guess the only thing I can do now is just go right to the... Below the clouds now. Got this twister here. Master, please make sure to use your sail cloth when descending from high elevations. Failing to do so has a prior probability of resulting in injury. I took the liberty of deploying the sail cloth for you this time, but in the future you can manually engage it by pressing ZR before landing. This is the fabled surface that has long been part of Skyloft's legend. By my calculations, you are currently positioned in a place known as the Sealed Grounds. out with my shield as well because if I just let it take too much punishment it'll break okay, 
how are you supposed to fight these things? So used to just there. Okay, I gotta wait for it to attack before I can actually swing at it. Ow! Take me a bit to get used to this game's co combat. Okay. that thing again. <laughs> and Link does not like it. <laughs> He's ready to face that as like, oh shit, no, I'm scared. symbol there. The first thing I'm gonna do is get some hearts back. Oh, so I gotta hold down the sailcloth button if I actually want to. Skyward Strike. I have also detected an aura that correlates closely to your sail club. I surmise that aura belongs to Zelda. I can lead you in the direction of this aura, though a process known as dowsing. Would you like me to explain this process? Are you sure? Explain to me how it works. As you wish, Master. Dowsing is when I detect the presence of the aura of something you wish to search for using the tip of the sword. Here you are to an object emitting the aura in question is stronger than the response will be. This response manifests itself through vibration and sound. The direction of the object emitting the aura is indicated by the purple pointer you see. Oh, she's just one of those? Hold the weapon and select Zelda as your dowsing target, then point in the direction you wish to search. Hmm, 
looks like there's a place to go. Oh. I just walk up on it automatically and it just sends me into the sailcloth. That's convenient. is gone. The sealed temple. Save here. your shield and restores four hearts. Well, that's convenient to have. So I got a revitalizing potion, a, heart, a red potion, and two shields. sacred power that fills your sword when pointed skyward. The skyward strike is yours to command. <laughs> it is proof that you are fit to bear the blade you carry, the goddess soul. I have sat here for many years waiting for you to arrive, all so that I could fulfill my purpose as your guide. The Old One. You stand under the roof of the sealed temple, a place built by the goddess an eternity ago. Your arrival here was predestined many, many years ago. The spirit maiden you seek arrived here shortly before you, descending to this land in a shower of light. There's no doubting it, the gears of fate have begun to turn. Mm -hmm. Yet all is not as it should be. The spirit maiden was not meant to reach this land in a manner she did. I feel an evil power working in the shadows that moves toward the destiny of which you two are a part. Mm -hmm. My goal. You are concerned for the spirit maiden and seek her whereabouts, yes. That is understandable, but for now you must focus on moving forward. That girl has her own purpose she must pursue, as do you. She set out for Farron Woods to discover the destiny for herself, and you must follow. Show me your map. The X marks the path that will lead you to the Farron Woods. You will be traveling in an unfamiliar land. Many monsters have settled here, and a map may not prove guidance enough for your journey. Uh, and so I will give you power to create beacons. The beacon is marked on your map. A column of light will stand at that location. It will act as your waypoint from afar. Point to the X and press A to place a beacon. Oh, so now I can do that. Though you cannot see it from where we are, a beacon stands outside to guide you. Leave the temple through the front doors and see for yourself. When you no longer have a use for a beacon, you can remove it from your map by pressing A. Use your beacons well and you will never fear getting lost. Ah. Well, now you must head into Faron Woods and chase. Oh gosh. After the spirit maiden, the one you call Zelda, on your way out, take the contents of the treasure chest within this room. What you find there should prove useful for you on your journey. Mm -hmm. You 
you are ready, leave through that door before you and head into the woods. I wish you safe travel. Ah. Know that all the questions you now have now will be answered in time. From now, Michael, go bravely. Head out. So this is the path leading to the Pharaon Woods. Oh, there's my beacon. So I know where I must go. Oh, the bird's down here. Uh oh. Somebody's in trouble. Run it away. Scram. for jumping in there to rescue me, bud. Oh, it's a Goron. Just who were those red pests? I did not expect to run into a bag of them in this peaceful forest. Same goes for you. This is the second time I've bumped into one of your kind today. I'll tell you, all sorts of weird things are going on lately. I owe you big for taking care of those guys, so let me tell you something fascinating. But I am the Gorko, the Goron. I am researching the ancient history of these woods here. According to the ancient texts, there is some kind of place above called the Isle of the Goddess, far up in the sky. Apparently, these old statues serve as, serve as landmarks to those traveling up to the sky or down from the Isle of the Goddess place. If you find one, be sure to examine it. Keep tabs on the number of landmarks that are rumored to be quite useful. Supposedly, this statue specialized is said to have a similar ability to activate all other statues. Mm. whole thing sounds a little crazy, I know, but I want for believe it to be true. Otherwise, would I, why would all these statues be all over the place? It's a real head-scratcher, bud. Makes you want to know more, does it? Oh. Well, sounds like I have a fellow connoisseur of ancient cultures here. All right, bud, you had better brace yourself because I'm about to blow your mind. So get this, people actually live on this sky island, and they get around by flying on the backs of huge birds that are way bigger than birds down here. Up there, everyone reveres the goddess, and the residents of all the islands in the sky live up in perfect society, totally free of conflict or unhappiness. Not only that, but from what I can tell, their civilization is way, way more advanced than ours down here. But it does not even stop there, but the Isle of God the Goddess has even more stuff to marvel at. The place was crafted by the goddess herself, so it figures... That is filled with wonders that we do not have here. Oh. Buildings are all made of gold. An endless spring of mystical water feeds a river through the place. One sip of that stuff and you live forever. The trees are heavy with plump fruit that cures all disease. The fields are crowded with pumpkins that never rot. Magic wildflowers bloom everywhere. And the weather, oh, the weather, bud. Not too hot, not too cold. No chance of sweaty heat in this garden paradise. This is That is the Isle mm. of the Goddess. Amazing, right? Wrong? Is it beyond amazing? Mm. Want to hear more about it, don't you? Uh... Yeah, I think I'm all set. Oh, that's so bad. I was hoping to tell you more, I guess, but I can wait. Ooh. Whoa. Mm. What in the world just happened? Did you use some kind of magic oh. statue reactor at the moment you got near it? How crazy is that? Behind the temple. I can save here, that's convenient. Mm. Goro. Ooh. What was that? The statue just reacted to you. What did you do? Come on, do not make a big guy beg. I have got to know. Okay, climb up these vines. Alright, now I gotta 
shortcut back to the sealed grounds. Should be a good place to save for tonight. We made it to the first, made it to the surface below the clouds, the Faron Woods. Well, technically not yet there yet. Just got to go through that gate. I think I'm gonna wrap it here for tonight, though. Made it through the opening parts. Oops, that's uh, somebody's calling me. I'll have to wait till I'm done with the stream, though. But yeah, um, I want to thank you guys for watching this stream. If you missed it, I'll be posting it on my YouTube channel this weekend. Um, I will be going away on a vacation. Start from next Thursday until... And I'll be coming back on the... The, the, uh, tu the Tuesday, so... So I'm going to be... Um, I'm going to try to fit in a stream probably Wednesday after I get out of work. Probably be a shorter stream compared to this one, but I want to make sure I get my weekly stream in. Yeah. So it's Skyward Sword. I know. This is going to be an interesting game to go through. And I got quite a bit to go through. There's quite a long journey ahead of me. It can be one of the... It's one of the most linear games in the franchise, but it also can be one of the longest guess I'll have to see where I am on that, you know, how far I can get through it. But yeah, I figured now is a good time to behind the temple. Next time we'll be making it into the Faron Woods. Who knows, maybe I'll be able to go through the first dungeon as well. So. Save in progress. Yeah, I want to quit. For now. I even got my Zelda shirt on right now. No, you can't. It's hard to tell. <laughs> yeah, I felt like getting in the spirit of the game here. Yeah, quite a bit. Got the Goddess Sword. I wanted to get through the first area, you know, the Skyloft, get the Goddess Sword, make it to the f to the surface. But yeah. So stay tuned for more Zelda Skyward Sword action. I want to thank you guys for watching. Have a fantastic night and take care out there. <laughs>